Good morning viewers, we're just on Badge's farm today. Just noticed this one. It just gives us the odd field now and again, not all of them, but that one looks like it might be worked out ridge and furrow. So might have to get that. First time the uh, Mazda's out on the detecting. First time Badge's been out since uh, the beginning of the year, isn't it? New Year's Day, yeah. Yeah, well, great to see you again. Yes. Good to be out. Shout out to all the Scottish mates who've just been up there for uh, two weeks, haven't you? Two weeks, yeah. 50th birthday it was, so two weeks in Scotland. Happy birthday, Badgie, from all Thank the uh, Anglo Celtics. Let's go and see what we can do. So I'm using my old faithful Dias 1 today with Sid's uh, custom program we always use uh, based on the fast. Badgie's on the legend with the 11 inch coil. And uh, you're still getting used to it, aren't you? Because you've only been st using it and then stopping and starting a bit. I haven't had a good run with it at all, no. No. no Let's hope it's your lucky day on the legend today, mate. Doing one. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful here. And this is the field we're going at today. This is where we've only been on this field once. And it was very quiet, to be honest. I wasn't impressed with it, but I did manage to uh, nick a James the first tuppence or something i think it was i got a hammered up there so quiet but we've had one hammered in one visit well first two signals both iron they've both been uh, iron loops so they can uh, trick most metal detectors but that one completely tricked the dais one banging in like it was uh, a big old penny or a bottom of a tin can it is very quiet this field you know it's also very big as well or fairly big so you know we might trip over somewhere that's a bit busier if we're lucky live because signals are few and far between but badger mm. just said i wouldn't worry wouldn't worry yourself bit of lad though mate yeah. it's better, better than the two bits of iron i've had onwards and upwards absolutely you got my leg but yeah it's nice to be out in the sunshine though yeah. oh by the way Ben, happy valentine's day mate it's valentine's day today uh there you go cow tag the first non-iron signal i think that's bbc wood norton over there it used to be like a bbc place i think some of it might still be but um, yeah, I think it had something to do with the Cold War as well. You'd have to Google it. BBC Wood Norton. Just got this. Uh, don't think it's ancient. Maybe about 200 years old. Uh, Georgian-ish. Maybe off uh, a horse saddle or something to do with horse sack. Possibly anyway. All right, Bumblebee. Oh, he's so cool, he is. I love him. You had your annual checkup yesterday, didn't you? And uh, your heart murmur hasn't got any worse. And uh, they're quite pleased with you, aren't they, Bunt? God bless him. God bless our little bubba. Oh, that's my first coin. Ship off for me, I think it. 1940 something anyway George is 6 Where is he? There he is Sorry about that viewers It's the uh, light Well, my first coin anyway Marvellous That's a bit better Not far from the half prince Alright sunshine He keeps walking into things And spooking himself God bless him in his old age uh, might be medieval. That. I'll give it. A, I'll get the dirt off. Sure. Yeah. There you go, viewers. So uh, a little bit like uh, a spectacle buckle, but it's got patterns on it. Not quite the classic spectacle buckle shape. Sixteen hundreds, maybe fifteen hundreds. I'm, I'm just going to guesstimate on that. So not a bad little sign. A lot older. Than the uh, ship half beneath. Well, I'd use just pop this little watch one. It's only little, but I've got it zoomed in. Ah, 
Oh, you'll never guess. Uh, I, I was just about to tell you, Badgie. Well, I did say they sometimes have the company's name on and that. A lot of them will be local, so this one could have been Evesham or anywhere. You've just come down the road. Did you pass Galloway when you was up in Scotland? Um, or not? Anyway, it's Scottish one, mate, from oh. Galloway. Foot Ford. Ford and Galloway Limited, I think it's. Well, that's the name. Galloway's in the name, so. Let's see if the address is on this side. Oh no, I think. It's a bit more fudgy, but you you will, when you get home, you'll clear it, mate. I think it might have been from Birmingham turning it over, but still got that cross Scottish connection with the name, mate. Something, something Birmingham. Right, cool. We'll find out when we get in. And that was the first ever watch winder, mate. Watch winder, yeah. Oh, it's nice to tick these little finds off, isn't it? My watch winder cherry has been taken. It's been popped on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah! I just, just dug this. She was wondering what it is. Uh, a lot of you will know, some of you won't. It's a, a tobacco jar lid. You know, the little, the little handle type of thing on the top of a tobacco jar lid. And I think these date from around the 1700s, but don't hold me to account over that. Probably 1700-ish tobacco jar lid. Is that another first for you? It is, yeah. Two firsts today, Two mate. Two firsts. Mm. Cool, mate. Cool. Be interesting to see what, what the name is on that one, but I think that watchwinder did say... Well, I've, I think it was Ford and Galloway. Well, the company name, and I think it was Birmingham somewhere. It had a bit more writing on the Birmingham bit. But interesting, mate. Interesting little find. And there's the bumblebee. Hello, Dad. Hello, Hello mate. Oh, what have you got up about them? It is Birmingham, Ford and Galloway. Okay, yeah, and the sell them, but you might be able to get when you get in, have a bit more. Mm. Cool, mate. Well, it's a brand new day now. We're on the same farm, a uh, different field. We've never been on this field. Uh, but yeah, there's Badger there. Over a week's gone by, I've been a bit poorly and whatnot, so see how we get on now, viewers, for the rest of this video. So yeah, we're on this new field. We got the badge back with us, so if we, if we hadn't said nothing, badge, you'd have just thought it was the same day. They would. But it's about, change your clothes. It's about eleven days apart, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, there, there might be a continuity. Continuity. Uh, issue, yeah. uh, I'm wearing a, a different watch. If you'd have spotted that. It's still uh, but badge just told me that on that bit of the field there, the edge, there was a footpath. So we're going to go and have a look at that. We'll give this half an hour. If we don't get a busy patch, we've spotted a busy patch on that first half of the video up the top end. Yep. It's good, to, fine. good to be back out, mate. Nice to be out. Happy days. We've got a nice big banging 86 signal there. We'll see what that is in a minute, won't we, Bunter? Uh, Badge's just had the first old find, so it's uh, a Tom back button. First sign of history off this new one, mate. Thank you, nice. Watch Buster don't piss on you. I'll stand still long enough, you will. He likes pissing on people's tyres, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a bit too high. Yeah, good luck. And the sun's just gone out, come out, it looked like it was going to rain. Uh, that big banger of mine, some sort of blank, uh, probably half pence size that. But it's blank though. So probably early 1800s or something, mid 1800s. Right, just had. I'm going to say it's a spindle wall. Might have uh, been some other sort of weight, but very good chance that that's been a spindle wall. And if it is, so I'm going to say early medieval. Might be just over a thousand years old, that if it's just lean weight. We've come on this back on this field. We think that bottom end is fairly quiet where it rises up here. Is more so 
just past Badger there is where I got the James the first hammered tuppence. Just had what might be a little old bronze leaf off, I don't know what off. Possibly off a small brooch or something, maybe. Old, if you know, it could be medieval. Having a look at uh, badges, I bumped into Pine's case, it's got a bit of a pattern button there. And uh, some other buttons, so not a bad day for the buttons up to now. We, we just want a nice cheeky uh, silver sixpence. So, Something. You know, we've had one nice hammer to come up here. Um, and we do think that this from here onwards is more busy, in it? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what the bumblebee lacks is fine. Bunty the wonder dog. Lost in his own little world these days. He, can't, he really can't see at all now. Bless him. Just found this. Don't know whether there's anything on it at all. Looks like there has been some sort of design on that. Oh, is that? I was wondering if that was a face, but I don't think it is. So I don't know what that is. Might have been a button. Sorry about the wind noise views, I didn't bring my uh, wind jammer today because I didn't know whether I'd be well enough to make any video. I did with, uh, well it was live until, until I got my camera just on. I thought Bunty was going to bring Badger some luck. Nope. But that's what Bunty thought of it, bless him, look at him. He's stepped in the old and all kinds of these days, old Bunt. Well it's not a very lucky bit of shit mate, but... And uh, there's some houses down there. And we haven't got that field yet off the farmer, but we will get it eventually. And that could be a very lively field where plenty of activities is what I'm open by just once we get on it. We'll drop straight down to the village. Yeah. And there's a church down there. Can you see where the cedars are in the background? Oh yeah, they used to be big, big, trees. big, big old trees. Yeah. There used to be a um, big house, not a stately house, but a big house. Okay. Like a Georgian manor or something. Yeah, yeah potentially. Um, yeah. Cedars are all of that sort of. Either. Yeah, and um, treasure cedars. There's quite a few old black and white standing in the village. Yeah. Let's see. Be a good field that one, I've got a feeling that. First time I've got eyes on that field. I've got a little fine bunch. It's not treasure, it's uh, a bag seal. This will be uh, manure. Once he's grumbling, that means he wants to go view us. It is a bit blowy. Might be some foreign writing on that. Might be uh, some Dutch uh, manure bunt. Bit of a bronze ring. Uh, I usually put these down to being a bit of horse tack around medieval times. But it's got what well, it looks like it might have had an iron pin going across there. Yet again, could possibly be uh, a medieval brooch, but normally I put that down to uh, a horse harness ring, is what I call them normally. But I've not really had them with two lugs on like that, so a possible pin on that one. That's just to show me this uh, buckle. Now it's not incredibly ornate and doesn't definitely jump out as being made out of bronze. But just a handmade look of it, a little tang on it, and that. I, I put that around about the 1600s, mate. Cool. So, Marvellous. Yeah, there's definitely, I'm getting a lot of signals on this slope now. I've just had a bag seal and a few right. bits. We're taking it through there. Uh, there when, when we've got the time and I'm feeling a bit better, I think we'll, we'll get plenty off this top end up here, especially when we get on that other one we're looking at. This bodes well for the for the summer and everything. Yeah, we're fine, dear Bunter. Uh, Jews Harp viewers. Uh, I'm not sure how far these go back, and uh, I've not seen one with the two two legs like that so short. So I'm guessing this one might have broke off. They might have gone down another centimetre or so. 
Well, it's a musical instrument, basically. That's a tune, Steve. And uh, I think they twanged them. I think they might have even put them in the mouth and twanged one, but I don't know. Jaws harp is where the... Jaws harp, right. So and people, people often just ended up Jews calling it yeah. Jew. Nothing to do with our Jewish brothers and sisters. Everything to do with the Jaws. Bum, 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 bum. Something like that anyway, viewers, but at least it is a historical find. I think these can go back hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, memory serves me vaguely. I've seen something on it recently. I think they can go pretty far back. Man at work there. Man at work, he's got a signal. Is this going to be his signal? Is that going to be his wow signal, viewers? Nice bit of milled silver. Imagine if it turned out to be a Victorian half sovereign or something. We only need that one signal to make our whole day, don't we, viewers? That's all we need. And if we don't get it, we can have the bumblebee instead. Hey! Hey! Here! <whistles> he can't see me hardly, he really can't, even though he's right. He, he's, oh, he's even flinching when he's bumping into the grass and that now. He's really shown his age and his heart murmur's getting worse, he's hacking more. So he's not going to be with me forever. One day he's going to have to go back with his mummy and uh, yeah, it's going to break my heart but at least I know Rachel will be there on the other side with open heart, arms, tiptoeing bunty across the rainbow bridge when it happens because I think I'm going to have to double the dose of his expensive tablet so he'll be on about 140 quid, well 150 quid a month it'll cost now but she said if he gets any worse, we'll have to double the dose. So he is getting worse. And I love him to pieces. So I'll speak to the vet. God love him. God love him. Right, get in the picture, mate. That's the thumbnail. Right. Well, viewers, got... sorry it took um, about 11 days to make this one video. No silvers, but we got out. We got the bumblebee out as well, God bless him. We got the badger out twice. Always great to catch up out in the fields, badger. I know I can pop mm -hmm. round for a cup of tea, but it's nice to get out. And it is, mate, it is. Yeah, it's nice to be out again. He's just been showing me his, uh, what is it called? The birthday present. It's a doodah, it's fa a, fancy it's gizmo. A, it's a watch thing. Tells you, uh, tells you the time. Tells you how many times you've... <laughs> Farted, every you name it, how many steps? Yeah, how many times I've shit my pants today? Right, don't forget to uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe, viewers. Hopefully, get some more out <laughs> soon. Sorry, you missed last week's video. <laughs> right, Bumblebee. Right, we're home now, viewers. Uh, so I'd just like to do a shout out for Mike Gardner, whose birthday was the be best part of a week ago now, but. Happy birthday on the channel as well, Mike. Happy birthday and shout out to you and Wendy and your lovely dog, Dylan, who is Buster's biggest fan. I love, I love you, Dylan. All right. Happy days. See you next time, viewers. All right, Bill Bugs. All right, Dad. You've been out digging, you dickhead. Hey. Don't, don't be like that, Till.